Hello mga ka JTV, this is Sir Joel of Sir JTV Channel. In this video lesson, we will discuss about the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to characterize the roots of a quadratic equation using the discriminant. Bago tayo mag sa lesson na ito, make sure na napunood nyo na ang video lesson about classification of numbers. Ilalagay ko ang video link sa description sa ibaba. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe at i-click ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga i-upload kong mga video lessons. Pindutin din ang like button sa ibaba kung nakatulong itong video lesson sa iyo. So, let's begin. Let's define first what is discriminant. The value of the expression b square minus 4ac is called the discriminant of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. This value can be used to describe the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. Ang tawag natin sa value ng expression na nasa loob ng radical sign na b square minus 4ac ay discriminant. Ang discriminant ay pwedeng maging 0, positive and perfect square, positive but not perfect square, at pwede ring maging negative. Ang ginagawa nitong discriminant ay para malaman natin kung ano ang nature ng roots ng isang quadratic equation. Sa pamamagitan ng discriminant, nalalaman natin or nadidescribe natin kung anong klaseng roots meron ang isang quadratic equation without solving for its roots. So, hindi na natin kailangang isolve pa ang roots para malamin ang nature nito. Kapag ang discriminant ay 0, ang nature ng roots ay real numbers and are equal. So, meron tayong magkaparehong roots na real numbers. Kapag naman ang discriminant ay positive and perfect square, Ang nature ng roots ay rational numbers but are not equal. So, meron tayo ditong roots na rational numbers pero di magkaparehas. Kapag ang discriminant ay positive but not perfect square, ang nature ng roots ay irrational numbers and are not equal. Kapag naman ang discriminant ay negative, then there are no real solutions or roots. Para mas maintindihan, Magbibigay tayo ng mga examples. When the discriminant b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, then the roots are real numbers and are equal. So kapag daw yung discriminant natin equal sa 0, yung makukuha nating roots ay real numbers and are equal. So example number 1. Describe the roots of x square minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. So, una natin gagawin is, identify natin yung value ng a, b, and c. So, yung a natin is 1. So, nakuha natin siya dito. Yung b is negative 4. Ito. And c is positive 4. And then, Substitute the values of a, b, and c in the expression b square minus 4ac. So, palitan lang natin yung uh, mga variable dito ng mga given values nila. So, b square minus 4ac is equal to, so palitan natin si b ng negative 4, si a ng 1, at si c ng 4. And then, simplify natin, negative 4 square, that is 16. Negative 4 times negative 4, that is 16. And then, negative 4 times 1 times 4, that is negative 16. And 16 minus 16, that is equal to 0. So, dito, yung discriminant natin ay uh, 0. So, based on sa definition natin, di ba, kapag yung discriminant natin ay 0, makakakuha tayo ng real numbers and are equal na roots or solutions. Kahit na hindi na natin isolve pa, kung ano ba yung roots or solutions na yon? So, alam na natin kung ano ba yung nature nung makuha natin roots dito sa 
given quadratic equation na x square minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. Pero para mas sure tayo, pwede rin natin i-check. So, i-check natin yan by using one of the methods na na-discuss natin about solving quadratic equation. Pero yung gagamitin natin dito is by using quadratic formula. Para sa akin, ito na yung pinakamabilis na way para ma-solve ito. Since, na-solve na natin yung discriminant dito. So, given yung quadratic formula, x equals negative b positive negative the square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a sa substitute lang natin itong mga value ng a, b, and c so palitan natin si b ng negative 4 si a ng 1 at si c ng 4 so ingat tayo dito no? kasi madalas nakakalimutang ilagay yung sign na negative nung b natin so Kung negative yung b natin dito, kailangan negative b yung ipapasok natin dito sa um, variable na b. So, iba pa yung negative na yun. And then, simplify natin. Negative times negative 4, that is 4. And then, ito, hindi na natin kailang i-solve, diba? Hindi na natin so kailangan i-solve dito kasi na-solve na natin yan dito sa part na to. So, that is 0. So, nakalagay na dito agad is 0. And then, 2 times 1, that is 2. And then, simplify lang natin, square root of 0 is 0 pa rin. Okay, kasi 0 times 0, that is 0. And then, separate natin yung positive sa negative. So, nandito yung positive, nandito yung negative. So, simplify lang natin, 4 plus 0, that is 4, tapos divide natin ng 2. So, 4 divided by 2, that is x equals 2. And yung isa naman, 4 minus 0, that is 4, di ba? So, 4 divided by 2, makuhan pa natin is 2. So, by checking, um, totoo nga yung sinabi dito, no, na kapag 0 yung discriminant, makuha natin roots or solutions are real numbers and are equal. So, yung 2 kasi, real numbers siya, di ba? Tapos, nakita natin natin dito na magkapareho yung um, nakuha natin roots or solutions. When the discriminant b square minus 4ac is positive and perfect square, then the, ra the roots are rational numbers but are not equal. Okay, so example number 2, describe the roots of x square plus 7x plus 10 equals 0. So, una natin gagawin is identify the value of a, b, and c. So, yung a natin is 1. So, tandaan natin na kapag walang nakasulat na coefficient yan, Yung coefficient is 1. Invisible 1. Yung B natin is 7. And yung C is 10. And then, substitute the values of A, B, and C in the expression B square minus 4AC. So, palitan lang natin yung mga variables ng mga given values nila. So, si B is 7. Si A is 1. Si C ay 10. And then, simplify natin. 7 square that is 7 times 7, that is 49. And negative 4 times 1 times 10, that is negative 40. And then simplify, 49 minus 40, that is 9. So yung nakuha nating discriminant dito is 9, di ba? And alam natin na si 9 ay perfect square number. Okay? So positive and perfect square number. So yung makukuha daw nating roots dito ay rational numbers but are not equal. So, sa pamagitan ng discriminant, agad na natin nadi-describe or nalalaman yung nature ng roots ng isang given quadratic equation kahit na hindi, hindi na natin kailangang hanapin yung roots or solution nun. Pero, syempre gusto natin i-check kung tama ba yung answer natin. So, check natin. Gamitin natin ulit yung quadratic formula. So, substitute lang natin yung mga given values Yung B natin is 7, yung A is 1, and yung C is 10. And then simplify, this is negative times 7, that is negative 7. And then itong discriminant, na-solve na natin siya, di ba? Ito. Kaya ilalagay na natin agad dyan, is 9. And then, so 
So, simplify, square root of 9, that is 3. Ayan siya. Tapos, i-separate natin yung positive sa negative. So, ito yung positive, ito yung negative part. And then, simplify lang natin. Negative 7 plus 3, that is negative 4. And negative 4 divided by 2, that is negative 2. Tapos, yung isa naman, negative 7 minus 3, that is negative 10. So, divide natin yung negative 10 ng 2. Makuha natin ay negative 5. So, makikita natin dito na yung x equals negative 2 at saka yung x equals negative 5. Yung roots natin dito or solutions ay rational numbers pero hindi sila equal. Okay? When the discriminant b square minus 4ac is positive but not perfect square, then the roots are irrational numbers and are not equal. Okay, example number 3. Describe the roots of x square plus 6x plus 3 equals 0. So, first identify natin yung value ng a, b, and c. Yung a natin is 1, yung b is 6, and yung c is 3. And then substitute the values of a, b, and c sa expression na b square minus 4ac. So, palitan lang natin si b ng 6, si a ng 1, at si c ng 3. Then, simplify natin. 6 squared is 36. 6 times 6 is 36. And negative 4 times 1 times 3, that is negative 12. And then, 36 minus 12, that is 24. Okay? So, dito, yung discriminant natin ay positive pero hindi siya perfect square. So, by this discriminant, alam na natin kung ano ba yung magiging roots or solutions ng given quadratic equation natin na x squared plus 6x plus 3 equals 0 na irrational numbers and are not equal. So, i-check natin kung tama nga ba yung sinabi dito na makakuha tayong irrational numbers and are not equal na roots or solutions. So, check. By using the quadratic formula, substitute natin yung mga given values. Si B ay 6, si A ay 1, at si C ay 3. And then, simplify natin negative times 6, that is negative 6. And then, yung discriminant natin, nasolve na natin siya dito, which is 24. So, nilagay natin doon 24. And then, separate natin yung positive sa negative. Tapos dito, Finactor ko na si 24. As 4 times 6. 4 times 6 is 24 pa rin, ba? Finactor natin yan para masimplify natin. Kasi merong factor si 24 na perfect square. Si, si 24, hindi siya perfect square. Pero meron siya, meron siya factor na perfect square, which is 4. So, simplify natin. Square ng 4 ay 2. So, ilalabas natin si 2, si 4, sa radical as 2. And then, matitira sa loob si 6 kasi hindi siya perfect square. At wala din siyang factor na perfect square. And then, negative 6, para simplify ito, divide natin si negative 6 sa 2 at itong 2 square root of 6, divide din natin sa 2. So, makuha natin ay negative 3 plus square root of 6 kasi negative 6 divided by 2 that is negative 3, diba? And 2 divided by 2, that is 1. So, hindi na natin kailangan ilagay yung 1 dito. So, automatic 1 na yung nandyan. And then, same process dito sa negative part. Um, square root natin is 4, makuha natin is 2. And then, divide natin si negative 6 sa 2, at si negative 2 sa 2, makuha natin answer ay negative 3 minus square root of 6. So, itong mga nakuha nating roots or solutions ay irrational numbers at hindi sila equal, di ba? So, itong square root of 6, example yan ng irrational numbers, di ba? So, tama yung sinabi dito sa statement na kapag yung discriminant ay positive but not perfect square, then makakakuha tayo ng irrational numbers and are not equal na roots or solutions. Next, when the discriminant b square minus 4ac is negative, then there is no real solutions or roots. 
May example number 4. Describe the roots of x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0. So identify natin yung value ng a, b, and c. Yung a natin is 1, b is 2, and c is 5. So substitute the values of a, b, and c in the expression b squared minus 4ac. So palitan lang natin yung b ng 2, yung a ng 1, at cc ng 5. Then simplify natin, 2 square is 4, negative 4 times 1 times 5, that is negative 20, and 4 minus 20, that is negative 16. So yung nakuha natin discriminant ay negative 16. So yung makukuha daw natin na roots ay uh, no real solutions or roots. So wala tayong makukuha real solutions or roots. So pa familiar naman kayo sa ano diba sa real numbers. Dun sa napanood nyo yung classification of numbers. So i-check natin. So by using quadratic formula, substitute lang natin yung mga given values. So si B ay 2, si A ay 1, at si C ay 5. And then simplify natin, negative times 2, that's negative 2. And 2 square, uh, itong discriminant, alam na natin na negative 16. Nasolve na, na natin siya dito. Okay, so then siya. And then, um, square root of negative 16, yung 16 perfect square siya, di ba? Pwede natin siyang square root. Ilalabas natin siya as 4. Pero yung negative, um, may square root din natin, pero ilalabas natin siya as imaginary. Imaginary number. So, na-discuss na rin yan doon sa uh, video lesson about classification of numbers. Okay? Then, separate natin yung positive sa negative. So, we have negative 2 plus 4i over 2 at sa right side naman yung negative niya. And then, simplify natin. Makuha natin ay negative 1 plus 2i. Kasi negative 2 divided by 2, that is negative 1. And 4 divided by 2, that is 2. Kaya natin nakuha yan. And then, dito rin, same process lang. Kung baga, nag-iba lang yung operation dito, which is negative. So, makuha natin is negative 1 minus 2i. So, makikita natin dito na meron tayong um, wala tayong real solutions or roots. So, imaginary roots yung nakuha natin. And for your activity, determine the nature of the roots of the following quadratic equations by using the discriminant. Okay, so number 1, x squared plus 9x plus 20 equals 0. Number 2, x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 0. Number 3, x squared plus 5x plus 10 equals 0. And number 4, 3x squared plus 5x plus 1 equals 0. So, pwede kayo dito, pwede kayo pumili ng uh, mga choices nyo dito. So, real numbers and are equal. Rational numbers but are not equal. Irrational numbers and are not equal. And no real solutions or roots. So, hanggang dyan na lang tayo. Sana marami kayong natutunan sa video lesson na ito. So, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe at mag-like at i-share itong video lesson. Paalam!